now for warm weather with exact track 4d Canada, we love you, but you don't need to share all this. <laughs> I know. I know. You're, you're so it's, sweet, Canadians. Yes, our Canadian yes, I know. Friends. Just, and, oh, God. and overachieving this year because it's, yes. it's a record-breaking amount of wildfires, which is why we're seeing it here worse than, than we ever have before as well. Ann Arbor still has the smoke, still has the haze, and still has unhealthy air quality. It's 58 in Ann Arbor, 66 in Detroit, 64 in Lapeer, mid 60s in Monroe. All these little dots represent sites that measure air quality. So we go by this air quality index goes from good all the way to hazardous. We've seen a slight improvement here in Metro Detroit. We have two sites uh, and you can see there anything in red is considered unhealthy for everyone. Anything in purple is very unhealthy. So we've got one site at the airport that's reporting unhealthy unhealthy air quality, but you go a little bit to the west in Ann Arbor and it is very unhealthy and there's a difference. I mean, when you step outside, you can definitely feel it. A lot of people complaining about their eyes watering today, a little headachey, uh, and it's all because of the wildfires in Canada. Now, they have over 500 burning right now. It's record breaking year for wildfires. It also started a little earlier in the season and 250 of those are not controlled. And what's happening is that it's blowing the smoke here to Metro Detroit. So this orange that you see right here, we're getting some of the worst of it right now from Detroit down to Indianapolis over to Pittsburgh and then back up to Toronto. These are from the wildfires in Quebec. The reason why the smoke's blowing here is because we have this area of low pressure off to our east. The air around it turns counterclockwise. So that means it's pulling down that air from all those wildfires, literally blowing the smoke right over Metro Detroit. As that slides off to the east, our air quality will improve by Friday afternoon. Something else we need to talk about, though, we're going to kind of switch gears here and talk about our severe risk for tomorrow because it has changed slightly from yesterday. Yesterday, almost all of Metro Detroit was in the marginal risk. It's the lowest risk for severe weather on Thursday. Now it does not include Macomb County and also doesn't include much of Wayne County, including the city of Detroit is not in the severe risk tomorrow. But if you live from the airport west or from Waterford to the west, you are under a marginal risk for severe weather tomorrow night between 10 and 2 a.m. We could have damaging winds, large hail, some flooding, and we can't rule out an isolated tornado threat. So here's the timing of it tomorrow, six o'clock on your way home from work totally fine, completely dry. Clouds will thicken up between 6 and 10 o'clock and then here come the thunderstorms. Brief, it's only going to be one line moving through, but it could contain some high winds and some heavy rain. So rain chances over the next seven days, tomorrow, Friday and again on Saturday. Your forecast for tonight under an air quality alert that smoke hanging around 61 is the low, so keep the windows closed tonight. I know you want to get fresh air in when it's 61 degrees, but it's not fresh air 84 tomorrow. An entire day of an air quality alert. We'll see what happens on Friday. As of right now, no air quality alert. Slight chance of a storm in the morning, but not in the afternoon. Heat and humidity build for sun, um, the end of the weekend and into next week. In fact, Tuesday, 4th of July looks hot and humid with highs in the upper 80s.